Hey there, Stephen Christopher, founder of Wit Digital, here with Ryan Cook, our awesome account strategist for Wit. And he and I were having a conversation earlier. We were just talking about some of the strategies and things that we're doing currently for our clients to make sure that just to make sure that they're taking advantage of any opportunities that are presenting themselves with this interesting time that we're in. Also protecting their company, their teams, their revenues, their families and stuff like that when it comes specifically to marketing. And so we just wanted to share with the home service industry a couple of things that we're watching and that we're focusing on from a strategy standpoint so that you can make sure to stay in alignment with what is best for your company out there right now when it comes to advertising. Yeah, perfect. It's like Steven. So what we're seeing most of is questions around marketing budget. Should I be marketing heavy right now? Should I stay where I'm at? So on and so forth. So in general, our, our recommendation is just diverting funds to where it's most applicable, where it makes the most sense for where we're at as a service area. So whatever your market is demanding, moving money towards that, whether it's indoor air quality, drain cleaning, maybe you're still exhibiting some cold weather, so leaving money in the furnace campaign makes sense. So really just having the conversation with, with your vendor or your internal marketing team in regards to what do we do with our marketing budget right now? I don't wanna spend more, I don't wanna spend less, I need to re-divert some of these dollars and working with your vendor and having strategic discussions about what that look, looks like is, is something that we're actively doing with our uh, partnership across the board. Um, getting on the phone with them and having a discussion about what they're seeing in their specific market. Do you have a large number of people that are searching for indoor air quality? Okay, well, let's move money out of furnace, put it in there and make sure that you're staying competitive in that light. Another thing we're seeing a lot of is that we have a lot of partners that are doing out of home marketing. So think of your billboards, your bus station type advertisements and those different types of things to reach people while they're outside of their homes. Obviously, uh, markets are not spending nearly as much time in the public now. They're spending more time with their families in their homes. So it makes sense to try to spend more of your marketing dollars to reach people where they're gonna be. So whether it's TV, your direct mailer campaigns, uh, obviously digital marketing, because everybody's looking at their phones these days a little bit more than they were even a few weeks ago. So making sure you're diverting money into platforms that don't make sense and to platforms that do make sense for the situation that we're in and could potentially continue to see after we come out of this. You know, we're, we're gonna see some changes happen in, in the way uh, consumer behavior uh, reacts to advertisements. So this is a good opportunity to maybe walk away from some of the more traditional stuff and start testing some of the digital stuff that reaches people while they're in their home. So really would just encourage you to continue to have these types of open-ended discussions with whether you're using a vendor or you have an internal marketing team, making sure that you're looking at it from that perspective and letting your market demand kind of guide you what you're going to do with your marketing spend. Yeah, great, great info, Ryan. Really good insight. And, you know, like we keep talking about these times, there's just a lot of unknown. And so we're we're making decisions day by day based on what's best for our clients. And we're going to continue to bring those to the industry because ultimately this is an industry that serves us. And we want to make sure that we're serving this industry at the highest level, giving you guys information to make the best decision possible. and as the reminder that I always put out there is the calls that you aren't getting right now, if you have any decline, those jobs aren't gone. Those jobs are just simply delayed. Those jobs are gonna come in fast and furious as soon as this starts to slow down a little bit because people still have to have their HVAC systems service. They still need a new system. You know, summer is coming and cooling season's about to start. As far as plumbing goes, they still need to get those things repaired. And uh, really right now, when people are spending more time in their in their home, they're gonna be taxing those a lot more. So fear not if you're having a little bit of a dip right now, um, this work is not going anywhere. It did not disappear. It is gonna come back with a full force and a full vengeance very soon. So pay attention to your marketing, make sure that you're continuing to do a really good branding. SEO is vitally important right now across the board. And as Ryan mentioned a lot with especially on the paid side, pay attention to maybe where you could move budgets a little bit based on where that demand is. And so make sure you're working very closely with your marketing person internally, your marketing vendor, whatever that is, 
And if you have any questions, if there's anything that we can do to help, we're, we're here, happy to have conversations with you, even if you're not a WIC client, just to kind of help you manage these more interesting times. So WIT is operating at 100%, as you can probably tell, we're all working remote right now so that we can dedicate more time to our clients and the industry. But uh, we are here at 100% and we are here to help. So let us know what we can do to serve you guys. We hope that you, your families, and your teams are staying very safe out there. And we, we know without a doubt, we're all gonna get through this and we're gonna come out better on the other side. Thanks so much. Have a great day. God bless.